break. Red <laughs> black and black. Black and Everywhere Red we went. <laughs> then we bring up how her ex wouldn't do whatever the topic of our What's good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC That Writes Fiction, and we're back at it with another reaction video. And this is actually a first one with Devontae the Great. And I've seen a lot of his videos. This is just the first time me reacting to it. And I love the fact that he animates as far as these dope experiences and stories that he has so um i wanted to go ahead and do this and if y'all want to see me react to more of his videos definitely leave a video that you want me to check out and i'll definitely take a look at that there and if you're new to the channel make sure to hit the like make sure to hit the subscribe with the notification bells on and if you want to if you want to support me directly i actually have my own manga out it's actually the first cannabis manga and it's called the most random manga ever and it's in full color it does read traditionally from back to front like a traditional manga but um let's go ahead and, and dive into this the people that haven't been on my channel in a while get on my dick <laughs> in the comment section tell myself oh my gosh Devante, where have you been first of all welcome back secondly i've been <laughs> here uploading every week or at least trying to i never left my notifications just don't get sent out to everybody every time i upload so with that being said <clears throat> I have made over 25 videos <laughs> that have nothing to do with the She Belongs To series since the oh last She Belongs To video was made. She so, belongs to the Omniverse, yeah, yo. Apparently this was the most this popular this on my channel, blah, blah, blah. I'm bringing it back just this once time. I'll do y'all a solid. Uh, if this video gets 100,000 likes, I'll do another one, which probably won't happen. So I won't be uploading another one for um, a while, my boy. After this video, another video is going to drop next week dedicated to my grandmother. I enjoy confidence. <laughs> yeah, this intro is just so dope. <laughs> Communication. Long ago, even though they were divided, the two nations lived together in harmony. Sip nation. <laughs> everything changed when the Sims attacked. Oh my god. <laughs> Only the Alphatar, master of all four <laughs> elements, could stop him. But when we needed him most, oh, man. he vanished. <laughs> Almost a hundred years passed in some random oh my gosh. new Alphatar, a confidence vendor named Devante. And although his confidence skills were great, he still has a lot to learn before he could save the homies. Before he could save the homies. I believe that's where <laughs> save the world. Oh my gosh, Alpha Tar, the last stop vendor. <laughs> Chapter four, red flagging. <laughs> oh, here we go with the uh, the ads. Get your get your coins, Devonte. Get your coins, son. So back in 2018, I had a girlfriend that I was always off and on with. Yes, her. I know y'all are tired of seeing her, but I, I, was, I was dead serious about having a lot of stories about this specific ex. Understand oh that I know the game and how to play it now, but I'm gonna tell you. Yo, leave a comment if you've had that on again, off again ex that you had forever. And extra points, if it was longer than a decade. <laughs> tell this story from a perspective when I didn't know the game. I done did my time in the trenches. I ain't going back. I ain't going we were back. Off and on because this was around the time where her feelings started to decrease daily for me over the course of a couple <laughs> months. I'm daily. talking about Shawty's body language scream. Oh, 
Yawn. I don't want you no more. Nigga, <laughs> I she she was the person that got bored and moved on really fast unless you could constantly entertain her. However, <laughs> Libra. The, fact <laughs> the fact that she was just used to toxic relationships. I blame myself because at first, <laughs> then once I folded and she finally got me, I started chasing her. Fellas, understand that women, they love the grind. They love the chase. And when they lose attraction for you, they tend to leave the relationship mentally before they do physically. And that's something I didn't pick up on around this time. Confuzzled <laughs> like shiz, boy. So what would she do? <laughs> she would start chaos just to keep herself entertained, oh like starting gosh. arguments, thus leading to the infamous phrase, I need a break. Red <laughs> flag. Let the whole Everywhere Red we went. Then would bring up how her ex wouldn't do whatever the topic of argument was. Oh my gosh, she saw the car. <laughs> Mind you, she was still friends with her ex. That was her first everything. The end. Oh my and gosh. I didn't even know. Red freaking flag. Red like flag. Home. Listen, <laughs> fellas. 99.9% .9 of the time, a break is just a stepping stone towards a breakup and an excuse for them to go cheat with other people. And then when you find out, they hit you with the, well, we were on the break. Bruh, throughout those span of the months, that happened every time. Our <laughs> break, she <laughs> I didn't know about it. We'd come back together for whatever reason. You know who she cheated with? You guessed it. Her ass. <laughs> that face. You no know a thing. I don't know what breaks meant back then. This would be an entire <laughs> Back then, I thought breaks were just, you know, yeah. take some time off, get our thoughts together, go see a therapist, baby, you know. And when we put ourselves back nope. in check, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Her version of it was, oh, I'm going to get my back blown out by some other nigga because he pissed me off. And I don't really feel like doing the opposite and working it out, even though it's a committed relationship. Because of the <laughs> I was at the time, you know, being a pup, scrappy do, it made Scrappy do. Every time we got back together after a break, I wanted to chase her validation even more by doing things for her. Doing typical simp activity. Which was stupid. Do not do Listen this ever. <laughs> With the little hair too. <laughs> chase anybody's affection, love, or anything of that nature. Attract. Do it. I did all of that, Rack. not knowing a thing until the day she allowed herself to get caught in 4K. But the way oh she my did gosh. it was so disrespectful. I still can't believe it. Man, it <laughs> like it was yesterday. It was the day before her birthday. Uh... And mind you, beforehand, I have never done this for any, and I mean any girl that I've had a relationship with before her. I did the worst thing you could think of at the state I was in that she did not deserve. <sighs> I decided to throw her a party. I know, I know. I know, I know. Just something to show her that I cared. Cake, presents, and all that. Still ignorant to what breaks are and what she's done on them. So it went like this. My homie and his mom at the time was kind enough to let me throw the party at his crib since my parents wasn't having it. It was supposed to be a surprise party. So Walmart I went to the, the store, get the, cake, <laughs> get the card, get the presents. Presents, all that stuff she ain't deserve. Ready? All that stuff she didn't before. deserve. <laughs> Put it all in my trunk, locked and loaded. Fast forward to the next day, 6 a.m., wake her up with the birthday call and the birthday song. The regular version and the black version. <laughs> doing it all for somebody that didn't even deserve it. Later this day, didn't deserve her it. And had her think this was just a regular hangout day with the homies. Because as I stated before in previous videos, she was a part of the group because she was close friends with a person that... A lot of y'all probably might remember one of my <laughs> friends back then. His name was O. Yes, this dude. Didn't say a word the whole ride. Blame his face. You would think it ain't even the whole birthday the way she was acting. We pull up to the homie's crib. It was me, the homie that let me use his crib, the one that came for moral support, and O. We get to the door. And while she oh. goes in. I act like I forgot something in the car. Me and my boy Eric go back to the <laughs> trunk, get everything. Boom pop inside and everybody in the room starts singing a birthday song the homie that let me use his crib turns on the music everybody having a good time for like 30 minutes for like 30, the 30 minutes, minutes is up. this is where things get oh goodness By this time those two left to go to the store so me and her could have some alone time i'm on the couch but O leaves into the other room looking <laughs> real irritated i noticed it but i brushed it off as soon as she stood over me she parks them buns on me like she wanted she my big them truck buns. In her little garage like she wanted to start something she most likely 
would have finished 10 minutes go by <laughs> the whole time. We making out a little bit. She talking to me all nasty, telling me what she's going to do to me when we get back to the car, etc., etc. Next thing I know, her mood went from happy AL to slightly concerned. Oh, or who, you may ask. Well, she leaned up, looked over at the room, got up, and told me she'd be right back. Still ignorant oh, and coochmatized. Coochmatized. Like, okay. She leaves into the room where O was in. I kid you not. Oh, 30 minutes go by. 30. My goodness. Like, What's taking so long? I've been sitting in this living room by myself for a break. So I get up to go see if Alice came back from Wonderland just to be surprised. No, bamboozled at the horrific sight I had laid my <sighs> eyes on. It was her and O on the floor holding hands. <laughs> Y'all thought it was something else? <laughs> That's besides the point. It be your own homies, bro. <laughs> respect in that room. Not only did these niggas act like it wasn't a problem, but these niggas had the audacity to justify it. Like her reactions were heartless AF, no remorse, not a oh brain cell working goodness. in her head. She acting like I just didn't do all of this. Boy, what the heck? What's going on in here, man? They both paying me no mind looking at the ceiling and this nigga had a smile on his face. She hit me with the, just holding hands. He and I are just friends though. Y'all both finna be ancestors in a minute if y'all don't <laughs> do too much. We ain't even doing nothing for real. Yeah, like I don't see what's so wrong about this. Bit, you know what? <laughs> Bro, when I tell you I walked out Yo. so bad. His Not face. only my homie, but what I thought was my homie did me dirty as if he'd been plotting the whole time and had no remorse for it, doing it. <laughs> the in background the noise. But the same girl that I did all of this for did me dirty too and tried to justify it. Be wow. real with me. What are you doing in this situation? I know for a fact a lot of y'all would have stirred up straight anarchy. Like it would have been World War Six in that room <laughs> with no hesitation. But me, I know how I am. I would have did the same thing, but I was on different timing. Cause that's the bro that, that left was mama's house. Time. I'm not trying to wreck nothing up in that room. They would have killed me too. So yep. I just left and regretted everything. At that mm -hmm. point, you're done, you're done. She belonged to the, to the omniverse. omniverse. From the streets she emerged <laughs> to the streets <laughs> she shall return. Now, I tell y'all in a lot of videos oh that my over time goodness. I've lived and experienced things and learned from them. This right here was something that I learned from but didn't really adjust accordingly, if that makes sense. Yes. It took some weeks to get over, but due to my overwhelming kindness and forgiving nature, I managed to work things out with the both of them with my other homies as support. Cause I know oh since childhood i didn't want to see our friendship end right there ignorant to how snakes worked i had hope for the future and really tried to see if i could bring out the good in them which was a dumb mistake on my part too because at the time i had my guard down i didn't understand oh, that man. no matter how much a snake sheds its skin it's still a snake i fell it's right for the bait oblivious to the fact that they were telling me everything i wanted to hear mm -hmm. just to get back into position absorbing all the apologies and reasons and remorse for what they did like a dummy and just mm -hmm. like that sooner or later we all became cool again with my guard down she and i because of our toxic nature got back together yeah. which was the worst mistake of my life especially after that event happened <laughs> thinking they were being genuine because immediately afterwards this story happened. Oh, I remember that one. I remember that one. I actually do remember that one. That's funny. Uh, anyways, this was a hilarious video. If you've had these type of situations, and I know this, I know he was younger, probably early 20s when this happened and things like that. But this happens all around and you learn. That's the thing. We got to bump our heads a couple of times. Some of us are lucky to make it through without, you know, any kids or anything like that, you know. So, hey, pay attention to the flags. If they belong to the Omniverse, Leave them there. <laughs> Anyways, this is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. Back at it with another reaction video. Make sure to hit that like. Make sure to hit that subscribe notification bells. And support me directly by getting my cannabis manga comic. Bling, the most random manga ever. And you can check out my most recent song, Invincible Summer, as well as my... CBD pre-rolls, the composition CBD pre-rolls made with two or more CBD flowers. So anyways, guys, peace.
Solo, it's a boss. At the heart of my winter, there's an invincible summer. Invincible.